Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 3648 Police Chase. It has 173 pieces for ages 5 to 12, and it's from the City Series, and this set retails for $24.99. And before I continue, I would like to give a shout out to LEGO Reviews 789. He is the subscriber who had requested that I review this set, so everyone check out his channel. And moving forward, here in the front we see that the police officer is saying hi to him. How nice. Here in the side are the minifigures. More on that later. And here in the back, we can see that the guy finally got caught. And now he's going to ask that police check out for a date. Which is one way to get out of a speeding ticket. I hope. Have fun with that. Anyway, I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. Here are the minifigures. And first up is the police officer on the trike. And here are his details, which is pretty nice. And there's his face. I gotta say, he looks like he's not feeling well. Looks like he's been having gas all day long, both through the top and the bottom. And you know, if you lift the visor up, not only can you breathe better, but you won't be fogging up the visor with your own burp. Gross. Next we have this beautiful young lady. I'll bet she writes a lot of tickets. And there are her details. Nothing on the back. And finally, we have the guy who drives a sports car. Looks like he's going to have to try to smooth talk his way out of the speeding ticket. Good luck with that. And he's wearing a hoodie. And now, let's take a look at the police trike. The police trike is actually pretty cool looking. There it is from the side and all around. That's a printed piece that you see there. Alright, there's the back, the bottom, the front. This thing could turn, which is pretty neat. Although, kind of pointless because once you put the police officer in there, he's just going to hold it straight. And it kind of limits the amount of turning you can do. All right, And finally you have this yellow stud over there and that's where you can have the option of putting the speeding camera over there. See? Just like they have on the back of the box. Which is a little strange if you ask me but you have that feature. Let's take a look at the police car. Now out of all the police cars that I have built so far this is probably the coolest one and check it out. Here it is from the side and that's a sticker that you see there. No opening doors. There's the top, we have more stickers right there, and another one over here. And you notice that there's a number 5 here. And if you haven't noticed yet from the other sets, most of the police vehicles are actually in sequential order. You get number 1 on the squad car in the police station. You get number 2 on the police van, also in the same set. Number 3 is on the prisoner transport, see? Number 4 is on the police helicopter, which was my previous review. Number 5 is over here, and you get number 6 in the bank and money transfer set, which is right there, and you'll see that review coming soon. So I just want to point that out. Anyway, back to this thing. There's the front, the bottom, and the back. Now what I really like about this police car is the details that they added over here. Like this bumper here, that's a really nice touch. And the same goes for these side mirrors there, because they look really good, especially at this scale too. And this part here can be lifted off, it's only attached by those two studs over there, and we can put the young lady in there and there we go and there we have it it's really neat let's take a look at the sports car if I could be a minifigure for a day this would be the car that you'll find me driving assuming you don't find me in a starship or anything like that anyway there's a side and there's a top it's a really nice design and that's a sticker that you see there and there's the back looks like he's trying to fly because this over here looks pretty interesting and there's the front you notice that there's no license plate, so that's probably another ticket right there. There's the bottom, not much. And we can put the driver over here. It does require a little bit of effort, but not too bad. And there we go. Really nice. And finally, you get to build this after you build all the vehicles and everything, which is just a corner of a street. So if you don't have any road plates like these, then this might make a good substitute and you can always attach this to the top of your base place. So it works out pretty nice in the end. You get a traffic light and a speed limit sign. Although they should be more specific. 50 of what, you know? You can probably argue that with the cops. Hmm, good luck with that. Let's take a look at the recommendations. Overall, I'd say that this is an okay set. It's either going to be a hit or a miss because when you look at the value, I do feel that the set is overpriced because we're looking at 14.4 cents a piece. And that's because we got 173 pieces for $25. And in reality, that just comes out to two cars, a trike, and a generic traffic light that you can probably build with your own collection. So I could see the price turning off most people. 
Now when it comes to the play value, I would say it's really ideal for the younger kids, especially if they love cars because you do get two really good cars and they're detailed pretty well and they're really durable so not too bad over there. And if you're an adult looking for a gift for a kid who is close, like a close friend or a relative, then this is pretty ideal too because I remember when I was a kid, I loved it when someone got me a set that I thought was overpriced. This way I don't have to shell out my own money, you know what I mean? So anyway, that sums up my review. Hope you guys enjoy the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.